Hey guys, Franchise here with FranchiseAges.com and thank you once again for joining me on another one of my videos. I really appreciate it. Uh, first and foremost, I want to say thank you to everybody watching and everybody who's um, subscribed to my channel. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. When I first started this thing, I was a little bit discouraged because the uh, first week I couldn't get past uh, uh, 12 subscribers. <laughs> and then um, shortly after that, I grew into about 68 subscribers and uh, this weekend at the start of the weekend um, I uh, I had about 80 subscribers and uh, by the end of the weekend uh, now today I have uh, over 400 subscribers and it's all because of you guys and I really really appreciate it my channel is growing pretty quickly and I hope to get a uh, thousand sub subscribers here pretty soon so um, Please keep sharing my uh, my uh, my videos, and uh, like I said, I really, really, really appreciate it. And I will be keep bringing uh, a lot of uh, new uh, content to my channel. So uh, keep checking back uh, often. And uh, today's video uh, is um, actually not going to be about uh, '80s toys and collectibles like all my other videos. Uh, today's actually going to be about LeBron James and some of my LeBron James collection. Um, I uh, am a huge LeBron James fan, and I have a big uh, LeBron James uh, trading sports card collection. Uh, and uh, I want to bring to you guys the my, my top 10 favorite LeBron James cards that I uh, currently own. Uh, today uh, was the All-Star Game, and LeBron James, uh, Team LeBron, defeated Team Curry. And LeBron won the All-Star uh, game MVP for the third time and uh, in his 15th year that's just incredible uh, to me he is the greatest basketball player to ever play the game and uh, uh, I'll debate anybody on that subject if you want to leave a comment below uh, we can have a nice little debate or you can just tell me who you you think is the greatest uh, basketball player of all time or who your favorite basketball player is uh, so I'll be uh, checking those out, and I'll, I'll go and I'll do a video and answer uh, any questions or any comments that are left on my uh, on this channel. So, also, I wanted to um, introduce you guys to my uh, my new eBay store called uh, Franchise Elite, uh, where I um, showcase the franchise collection. Uh, I, you guys may already know, um, I, I own uh, FranchiseAuctions.com, which is uh, my uh, original eBay store um, it is uh, on eBay you can search under seller under franchise auctions or you can just go to www.franchiseauctions.com and then you can see my eBay store where I have all sorts of great toys and collectibles from the 70s 80s 90s and today um, but this new eBay store that I have is going to be showcasing some of my some of my more e elite and rare and expensive uh, items and collectibles. They're uh, not your everyday items that you'll find on eBay. They're very, very rare. And a lot of them start at over $100 and they go anywhere from, from $100 to, a, to thousands of dollars. And so there's a lot of awesome and unique items on that eBay page. So um, you guys uh, check it out. And you can go under on eBay, search under seller, search for, for Franchise Elite all one word franchise elite and um, you can check out what I have I will also leave uh, as always descriptions um, or links in the description uh, below this video and you just click on the links and go right to the to the eBay page as you can see above the franchise collection banner too you'll see some of my better uh, LeBron James trading cards um, this video right now I'm going to show you in this video my um, my top 10 uh, uh, favorite cards that I have. You can see here's a lot of my cards. Um, I'm going to be showing you them each individually. So um, so stay tuned and um, I hope you enjoy this video. And thanks again for, uh, for tuning in. Okay, first I want to start off with um, a couple honorable mentions. 
Um, the first one is this um, Donruss Elite Clutch Performance card that I have. As you can see, you give it a second to focus in on the card. This is a really, um, really nice and unique card. Uh, this is uh, also, it's numbered right here, as you can see. Kind of hard to see there, but you can see that it is numbered once it focuses. Right there, number six of 23. So that means that there's only um, 23 of these cards made, and this is number six of 23, which is his jersey number when he played for the Miami Heat. So this is a very special card. Um, the only card better than that to have in that uh, of the 23 is uh, number 23 of 23, which is uh, the... Um, the uh his jersey number for the for his uh cleveland cavaliers jersey which is on the front cover of this card and here it is see so you see his jersey number 23 and i also happen to have number 23 of 23 as you can see right there so this these two cards are very special they're very unique uh another um Honorable mention here is the uh, gold medalists. These are one of my favorite cards. They're uh, made by Panini. They're very, very well done cards. Um, and they're very rare. They're holographic refractors, right? And uh, they're numbered too. This one is uh, happens to be numbered to 299. Two, so it's number 253 of 299, right? So it's pretty incredible if you think about it. Uh, if you think, you know, uh, a regular car that's not numbered, they, they print millions and millions of those cars. They're still very valuable. I mean, there's some that are 30 40 50 60 even $100, or, or 3 or $400 for some even that aren't even numbered. So to have one that's so low numbered, only 300 people in the entire world have it. And uh, this is number uh, 253. Uh, a significant number would be number 23, right? Those are, this makes it very rare. Like the last one I showed you, that, that shows that shows you how um, incredible this card is. There's only 23 in the world and only one uh, number 23 of 23. So this is pretty much, to me, this is a one of one. All right, so, but still, these are, uh, these are really cool to have a card like that. Uh, so then also, that was a... Uh, a series that they made of the the, the gold medalists um, and each card gets rarer and rarer uh, this one here is very similar same same card the difference is this one has a piece of the jersey he actually wore in the USA game uh, and it's also numbered to 299 and this one happens to be number 278 of 299 but it's it's pretty cool to have that piece of jersey it's actually game worn. Okay. The other one here that I have is the same thing. It's gold medalist. Only this one has a piece of the patch. So it's not just the jersey, but it's an important piece of the jersey. It's the patch piece with the USA on it, as you can see. And this one is graded by PSA. It's graded a perfect 10 or, or a gem mint 10. Not perfect 10, but gem mint 10. A gem mint 10 so a 10 out of a 10 and it's got a piece of the of its patch and then this one's also numbered and this one's numbered only to 25 so it's number 17 of 25 so very very rare card and it uh, it's pretty cool to have it with the other cards that I have then the last one of these is an also another gold medalist here it's this one right here it's a gold medalist, and this one comes with a piece of gold, 14 karat gold, representing the uh, gold medal that he won in the, this, the Olympics. This is an extremely rare card. 
Uh, first off, they didn't make very many. Uh, they, um, as you can see how, how finite the other cards are, being uh, number 25, uh, only made 25 of them. This one right here is even more scarce. This one is only only 10 of them have been made, and this is number 5 of 10. So you can see 5 of 10. It's a very, very rare card. Only 10 people in the entire world own this card. So, okay, so those were my honorable mentions. Now we're going to get into my, uh, my top 10 favorite LeBron James cards. Um, so at number 10, we have this uh, Panini's National Treasures. It's NBA Material National Treasures. And it's a um, dual-colored jersey card. And it's also numbered to 25. And it's number 23 of 25, which is his jersey number. So pretty much it's a one on one. Only only number twenty three in this series. Okay, very highly sought after card. At number nine is this Cleveland Cavaliers LeBron James jersey card where the whole Cavaliers is his jersey. It's a jersey patch card. And this one is Number five of five, so it's limited to only five, and it happens to be the number five of five. Very, very, very rare card. This other one here is um, his high school colors card uh, made by Upper Deck, and this is a piece of his jersey, his high school jersey, when he played on for the St. Vincent St. Mary's High School for the Fighting Irish very rare card and uh it's cool because uh it's one of his first cards so it's from uh 2003 i believe it came out <clears throat> and then we have the lebron james rookie card pretty much the first mainstream card that came out from sports illustrated it's a it's a 10 graded by peg by beckett it's a must-have for any LeBron James collector to have this card because it was pretty much his first card. As you can see, he was very young in that picture. I think he's 16 years old. And uh, already a, uh, a basketball phenom. Next we have the uh, Star Power Supreme 2013-2014 uh, Fleer Retro uh, Ultra Star Power Supreme LeBron James card. He's also in his high school jersey in this one. So throwback from the 90s cards that they used to have. Very cool card. It's translucent, see-through, and uh, very rare. It's not numbered, but they've made a very limited amount of these. And this one's graded a 9.5 out of a 10, which is really a high grade for this type of card. The next one is the um, uh, Panini Prisms uh, Red, White, and Blue Pulsar 2015 card. And uh, this is a very awesome card. It's, um, I don't know if you can see, the, see in the camera doesn't do it justice, but it's very shiny. Has a, it's a refractor, has a, sorts of translucence. And uh, this one's not numbered. And they made quite a few of these, but... Uh, as you can see, the black label there, it's a 10. It's the only one that I have. It's a perfect, absolute perfect, pristine 10 by Beckett. It's very, very rare that Beckett grades a card at the pristine 10. And in fact, it, the only one that has a black label is if it's a perfect 10. And there's not very many black label Beckett cards out there. So to have a black label pristine 10 of anybody is very valuable but of lebron james that's it's pretty uh pretty incredible to have next i have um this uh panini threads uh century collection card that's a three color patch game worn by lebron james and uh one of the games that he played in for the cleveland cavaliers and this one's also numbered 23 of 25 as you can see there 
really cool card. The next one here is a card that I made a lot of money on. <laughs> the 2003-2004 Rookie Platinum Medallion LeBron James card. I've done videos on this card before. That The first time I got this card, I pulled it, pulled it out of a $10 pack. And I ended up selling it for $3,800. And uh, I eventually got it back from a different seller. I ended up buying it for far less than what I sold it for. And then um, I ended up selling it again for another great amount of money. And then I got another one back. They only made about 100 of these cards. So very, very limited as well. And this is one of his most sought-after cards. And more one of his most popular uh cards that, that they've came out with they came out with an original Fleer Ultra then they came out with a gold medallion that's pretty limited and then the platinum medallion that's extremely rare and limited so another great rare card to have the next one is the Upper Decks Signs of Success signature card LeBron James signature card there as you can see his signature he signed that when he was still very young. His signature has changed a little bit over the years. But to have his original signature from, uh, from when he was um, just a kid, he's still in high school. It's pretty crazy. Uh, you can see that it's a sticker on the card. So he didn't really handle the card. Uh, he signed Paul Lushita stickers, and they put the, this on the card. Um, when it's an on-card autograph, that makes it even more valuable. But this card's still pretty valuable. Uh, it's, there's not very many of them, and it's uh, from his rookie year, and it's autographed. So any LeBron James autograph is going to be worth a lot of money. So then that brings me to number one, my favorite card, my all-time favorite card, and it is a three-color patch autograph LeBron James. The pretty much the holy grail of my collection, and the holy grail of almost any LeBron James collection, to have a three-color patch game worn jersey and an autograph and this is the kicker it's it's numbered to only 50 and this one is number 23 of 50 i don't know if you can see it right there at the bottom let me see if i can show you guys right there let me see if i can get it to focus There you go. 23 of 50. LeBron James. Very rare, extremely rare card. A one of one. And what's, um, what's cool about this card, unlike this the other card here, right? This one is an on-card autograph, which means that LeBron had to handle this card. He had to pick this card up and autograph it. Right, uh, it's not just a sticker they put on like this one, so it makes this card even more valuable than it is. So uh, by far my favorite card that I own. So well, I I hope you guys enjoyed uh, that video, and um, please leave your comments below, and uh, remember to hit like and subscribe. I uh, thank you guys very much, and uh, I will see you. Um, next time with another uh, great video thank you for watching Into the night, I raise my hand.